did you join us for the business and personal growth summit in today's video i'm going to talk about my reflection about the summit and indeed what um the learning lessons are regarding uh tips for you moving forward if you want to create an event like this or even a challenge for that matter if we haven't met before my name is beatrice yakubo i'm the founder of simply family business and what i do is to help business owners use the digital media to promote their businesses and to attract clients in terms of the business and personal growth summit it is a summit that i have organized this is the second time i've done it and indeed it's been incredible uh, the aim for it is about us coming together as women and just empowering each other i.e in sharing ideas ideas about business about marketing about a, a personal group i.e in career about health parenting and so on so last time i had several women i think we were over 12 women um, that did the summit and this time scaled it down a little bit to about seven of us which was still incredible so i just want to talk about what really happened and what you can learn from there so a summary of the three days event was day one was about me talking about uh my journey my journey to where i am now in terms of being in business of course uh if you have followed my journey so far i came from ghana uh, some time back and as a nurse and of course after years of being in this country and realizing that you know what no one was coming to rescue me as far as uh, my financial constraints and time constraints were concerned. I decided to do something different, i.e. Um, look for business opportunities so that I could be able to have the flexibility of being at home with my children as well as being able to earn income. And that has led me to, you know, connecting with some amazing, amazing people in this world. You know, sometimes, especially for those of us who are nurses and health background, or even if you work in corporate, sometimes you can be in a silos that you don't even know there's this bigger world of um, enthusiastic people out there who are just willing to connect. In fact, somebody like myself, I wasn't even open uh, to kind of talking to people. And this journey has led me to be able to have that because that, that was something I had to learn actually. Uh, being able to communicate with people, being able to network with people, being able to just throw myself out there as far as um, connectivity and being able to, uh, to, to, to speak with other people concerned. And that has been a blessing. And for that reason, uh, this summit is something that I have organized to get us together so that all the connections are, or most of the connections that I have made with this amazing and incredible high achieving woman, uh, we can all bring our expertise to the table and just help educate other women who are uh, perhaps in a, um, also embarked on this kind of journey or just women willing to promote their businesses, women willing to even look at their lives differently and 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 promote their careers and and so on and so forth so that is about that uh, as far as i am concerned regarding my introduction and then we had uh pastor maureen karu who talked about leadership leadership is the bedrock of everything now when we talk about leadership most of us think that we are not leaders Unfortunately, that is not the case because you are leading in whichever way you are, especially if you are a parent. You are leading every day, leading your children, leading your home and, and so on. And if you are at work, you are leading one or two people, you know, no matter the rank that you are. The fact that you can guide someone to be able to understand something that they didn't know before uh, is part of leadership. So what? how did Pastor Maureen talk about this kind of leadership? She talked about leading yourself first before you can even lead someone else. You need to be able to have the ability to lead yourself. How do you lead yourself? Because if you think about it, you know, we would rather do things that, you know, that brings us pleasure uh, rather than challenges. But hey, ho, in order for you to actually lead yourself, 
you need to um to to be decisive to be determined and indeed to be disciplined those were her three d's that she uh talked about now being decisive you need to make decisions that will promote you or move you forward and indeed i believe that for most people uh that is always a difficult thing to do because of the fact that we do not even believe that we are able or we are capable of achieving certain things guess what happens we don't even try to even dream for ourselves and until we start to dream uh guess what it, it, whatever it is that you want to do in life it has to start from that dreams it has to start from that thinking about it and then of course the other aspect will be um the next step in taking uh the, the the actions to make it happen but the first and foremost thing is for you to decide decide that this is what i'm going to do uh, decide that i'm going to start a business decide that i'm going to grow the business decide that i'm going to grow the career decide that i'm going to be an um, uh, amazing at my home uh keeping um my home um and I'm going to be an amazing parent. It all starts from a decision. So, and of course, it, by deciding, when you decide, you are going now to kind of think about then what steps are needed. After doing that, your research is very important. Then, of course, you now have to be determined to ensure that what it is that you have decided on will come to pass. And of course, determination, we all know that it's not easy. And I feel that is the reason why most people don't even start from the area of decision in the first place, because you just look at your circumstances and think that this is not possible. And um, as many preachers will say, if you believe it, it will happen. If you don't, it won't. And so for that reason, uh, being determined is one of the things that, you know, after you made your decision, you have to put in the steps i.e. Uh, saying burning the bridges as they say it uh, to make sure that whatever it is that you have decided on comes to pass then indeed you you move on to the ability to be disciplined enough to make it happen because after you have um, decided and after you have you put in the determination you've got to make sure that whatever it is that you're doing is broken down into um into segments that will happen through your day-to-day -day activities and that is your area of discipline now blessing your global also talked about um instagram marketing now when we talk about online marketing i guess what it is something that most business owners wish or desire that they would do but a lot of times it doesn't happen why because most of us have kind of fall down uh when it comes to even learning the ideas of um marketing on online and she kind of took us through the her own journey of you know being able to think about instagram in the first instance choosing the platform is very very important because for most business owners um i mean that's what i did <laughs> to be honest when i was told that you know open as many uh social media accounts as possible and that was what really sucked my a lot of my energy um but just deciding on one platform is all that you need to do and that is what blessing took us through deciding on the fact that she was going to be um promoting herself on instagram about her beauty and that led her to grow in her account beauty with blessing into over 20k followers and that led her into being able to get uh, dealerships uh, to work with uh, beauty uh, skincare owners and that eventually uh, paved way for her to become a speaker and all that now studying marketing in the university so she took us through the steps with which you can actually grow your instagram account i.e start with thinking about what would be your instagram name what would you do with regards to your instagram bio uh, making sure that your profile is clear enough and ensuring that you are also creating valuable content and posting regularly engaging with people and communicating with people as and networking with people and indeed actually get into that area of promotion the third uh that was for day one so day two then was um amazing linda muyobe so linda is a tv host and she has been uh uh a keynote speaker for some time now and she calls herself 
limiting belief assassin i.e she will help you banish your limiting beliefs and guess what is the thing that keeps most people from not achieving their goals so for example you want to start a business and you've been procrastinating you want to grow your business and you've been procrastinating you want this dream career but you don't have you, you've been pro procrastinating about it or putting in the steps to go and find it um she talks about the fact that the reasons why we don't do that is because uh she puts it in two ways um fixed mindset versus growth mindset and many people have a fixed mindset i.e they see things just as they are instead of actually projecting what the things could be years down the lane and for that reason if you are in a fixed mindset the consequences as she mentioned is that number one you are going to be technologically uh inept i.e you will be left behind uh, as far as technology is concerned uh, think about it in this day and age who can do you know run their day-to-day -day without technology not a lot of people but um you know if you don't if you are not in the fluid mindset i.e growth mindset kind of scenario you are going to be disadvantaging yourself because you are not open to learning the other thing is the fact that um psychologically you are bound you are thinking that a life is fixed or things are just what they are and can't change but indeed you have the ability to be able to change your circumstance and emotionally uh you are feeling really down and upbeat because guess what you are going to be feeling that you know life is just how it is and uh I, I am not able to do this i'm not worthy of this and and so on and so forth and really feeling uh i mean especially in this day and age, looking at other women for example crushing it in the marketplace doing amazing things and then you have this ideas and desires that you just think that you cannot do it that must be uh emotionally draining and for me I believe that I would rather try <laughs> than to be to wake up one day and think, okay, where did the time go? The other thing that she talked about was the fact that income-wise, you are going to be disadvantaged because if you are in a fixed mindset, you are not open to investing. You are not open to taking opportunities. And guess what? The only thing that makes us grow is for us to leap with uh, with uh, 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 into the future or leap in with um into what it is that we must do to be able to promote ourselves i.e if, if there's an opportunity to start a business or an opportunity for you to um kind of apply for a new job for yourself that will get you the promotion that you desire and you have you for the lack of um confidence in yourself you didn't do it guess what you are financially you are going to be at a disadvantage then indeed faith wise she talked about spiritual she said faith gives us freedoms um and, and religion keeps us bound and most of us because of fixed mindset we actually leave ourselves in that vulnerable state of not having faith to move on with uh, things that we need to do to increase uh, our faith in even in the world around us and, and and taking chances to progress that was linda then of course um i talked about the uh, the area of marketing because i know that with marketing it is not just uh being able to communicate on social media but also getting people into your what we call your ecosystem i.e getting people to actually uh into your funnel which is uh eventually uh bringing them into your email sequence so that you are able to keep in touch with them communicate with them till the point that they know you they like you they trust you enough to buy from you i believe that this has been a problem uh as far as my work is concerned because business owners just think that okay we go on social media and we make money from there it is far more um than that i.e you just once you your ability to be able to promote yourself on social media is for people to know you enough to give you their email address uh come into your funnels so that you guide them through nurturing and uh to the point of selling which is pivotal then of course uh we launch a simple family business uh, membership and you can join i'll put the link in the description 
uh, for you to uh, click and join us. It is a place where I will be teaching uh, with these concepts every week uh, coming on live uh, on, on our uh, private uh, Facebook group and then teaching you how to understand this gradually. And I know that as a business owner, all it takes is for you to have that consistent consistency of learning gradually and i know i believe that you'll be able to get there then of course um the three came with uh amazing dr terry truesdale dr terry uh is a health expert um and she talks about you know functional health i.e holistic health making sure that I think the concept that stood um, for me, stood out for me with her conversation was the fact that when uh, you are flooded um, and there is a dump nearby, for example, the dump is overflowing and there is a flood, you don't just uh, look at the water, scooping the water out of your house, but you look at the source of the flooding and go take care of that. And for most of us with regards to the lifestyle, medical diseases, what we don't think about is the fact that we need to be able to get to this point of uh, thinking about why did this happen uh, to me? Uh, could it be my spirituality? Could it be the, how I'm, I'm looking after my body? Uh, or do you just take the doctor's word for it and then that's it, sentence yourself to lifetime of medication? So for example, diabetes, hypertension, um even heart diseases more many of these are uh, lifestyle diseases um and of course lifestyle diseases if we um give in i.e because we know that uh, our lifestyle contributes significantly to this type of diseases so because we contributed to it our we can use the same lifestyle to change it and that's what she came in with the um you know she because she, she teaches christian women so the deception of the devil is to get us to be deceived that we can't do anything about our situation and to um diversion divert our attention to the fact that we are not able to cope with this and then to divide us in in terms of uh you know a kind of resisting what we need to do to get to the point of um optimum health then of course i had the uh, amazing Bola Akin Odidi. So this is a, she's a career coach over 15 years and she has been doing amazing things. Took herself from at the point of joblessness to finding her own job and helping others to do the same. And she's done that with her clients. And she took us through, you know, just like proper, proper career development pathway, which was, I felt was really incredible in that, you know, when you have that job, um, that shouldn't be your end all and be all. You need to be able to open up to um, to opportunities. You need to open yourself up to learning more about your your career, um, exposing yourself to mentors, being able to network with people, and you know also uh, putting yourself out there to dare to do things, new things that will get you uh, the promotions that you desire. Vanessa Yakubu talked about branding because sometimes with branding, there's a lot of incongruencies uh, with what I see. So somebody says that I, I, uh, I am a coach and then they have a nurse as part of their bio on social media, for example. Um, there is incongruency there. Yes, you are a nurse at work, and but then the coaching side of things is your business. And if you are on social media, what would you rather be promoting, your business or NHS? Now, NHS is already cool. <laughs> NHS doesn't need you to be promoting them. So that's an incongruency. Um, or uh, if you, as she mentioned, if you are a hairdresser um, looking after the ethnic minorities, so for example, black uh, hair, and then uh, you have a straight hair or a uh, blonde hair on your website, it really doesn't um, communicate effectively to your audience. Plus your colors as well and your logos and things like that um, all make up um, your branding. And most importantly, your story is something that really res will resonate with the people that should be attracted to you. That was it with regards to um, 
the speeches that went on now i'm going to talk about my takeaways uh i.e i uh, putting this uh, event together the first time i did it it was nerve-wracking i had 12 women uh, including the secret millionaire caroline marsh so obviously all was on deck for me and i i felt under pressure uh, to be able to deliver i did go around and interview this lady bef these ladies beforehand um and there were so many challenges as well because it was my first time a tech was an issue and uh even being able to connect with people far away uh, one of the ladies connected from from uh, canada so um i i did pretty strange things <laughs> in the first one because it wasn't easy um many people didn't know what i i had to go through uh to bring that together but i did it and for that reason even before the april one came i already planned to do one for september because i was going to do it every six months so from now it's going to be every six months and then so um of course when september came i was in uh, orlando uh, with russell branson uh final hack in life which was incredible and then so while in orlando i was thinking should i do it should i not should, should i just leave it and then you know uh, because I learned certain ideas as well during the conference of the Final Hacking Life, i.e. Uh, continuity program, linchpin, and and uh, what have you. These are terminologies that <laughs> I'll be explaining as some in different videos. So, but I just thought, no, I need to do it. And I will do it in a smaller scale, but I will still go ahead and do it. And guess what? This one was a breeze. I absolutely enjoyed it. There was no tech issue. There was no connectivity issue. I even managed to get a, somebody on Upwork that could help me uh, with my emailing sequence. And it was just amazing. So to be honest, all I just want to share with you on this is that when you are starting to do something, I mean, this perhaps is, is maybe a no-brainer to you, but it's all the same when you are starting to do something the first time it is never racking it is difficult because you haven't done it before but guess what do it anyway because even with the fear i remember the first time i did it my sister was texting me to say you know it's fine everything is going right because she could see from her skin her screen because she knows me she knew that i was a bit nervous so um yes even if you are nervous i still do it guess what many people didn't know that i was but um the second one you know i just loved it i enjoyed it every step of it so this is just my encouragement to you that you know what we have i think six weeks or so or less to christmas and to the end of new year at the end of the year whatever it is that you purpose to 